item number SCP-173. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. Item SCP-173 is to be kept in a locked container at all times. When personnel must enter SCP-173's container, no fewer than three may enter at any time and the door is to be relocked behind them. At all times, two persons must maintain direct eye contact with SCP-173 until all personnel have vacated and relocked the container. Description. Move to Site-19, 1993. Origin is as of yet unknown. It is constructed from concrete and rebar with traces of Krylon brand spray paint. SCP-173 is an extremely hostile. The greatest pieces of media are rarely, if ever, the results of one person's efforts. The average movie, just by itself, has a credit sequence so long that they bait you with additional scenes both before, during, and after, just to make sure that your eyeballs stay on them. It takes a lot of monkeys and a lot of typewriters to create something astounding. Although, these days, if you wanted to aim for simple mediocrity, you could just prompt chat GPT at this point. No monkeys or typewriters required. <sighs> Wonderful. One paragraph down and I can already put all the AI buzzwords in the tags. That, my friends, is content efficiency. But that's beside the point. If you really want that wow factor, it's going to be incredibly difficult to do alone. You are only one person after all, and therefore you only have one perspective. Take something even as middling as one of my videos, and you can see this in action. Sure, I might write, record, edit, and thumbnail everything by myself, but that doesn't mean I'm working 100% alone here. As I'm going through the development process, I have friends to bounce ideas off of, or talk to if I'm feeling stumped on what direction to go into. Even after the project is finished and uploaded, they can still tell me what it is that they thought I did well, or what I could improve on next time. The key element here is feedback. We all need feedback sometimes, especially the creative among us. And this human need for feedback is part of what makes the topic for today's video, SCP, so special. But first, some background information for the uninitiated. What is SCP, or as some might know it, the SCP Foundation? The groundwork of the idea of the SCP Foundation originated in the Paranormal Slash X forum of ugh, 4chan around 2007. The first ever SCP, designated as SCP-173, was described as a statue of concrete and rebar that only moved when not being observed, a la the Weeping Angels from Doctor Who. The original image that was used as reference for SCP-173 was a statue named Untitled 2004 by the Japanese artist Izumi Kato. Unfortunately, albeit understandably, Kato was unhappy with the unlicensed use of his work. He did, reluctantly however, allow his work to be used in this way, so long as he was properly credited and it was not for commercial use. Eventually, as the SCP project evolved, it became its own entity entirely, getting its own wiki.page in 2008, and moved to the Creative Commons licensing model. Untitled 2004 was removed from the SCP website in 2022, due to not falling under this Creative Commons license. We'll get more into that later. Many people who have a passing knowledge of the SCP universe may identify all entries of it as being similar in tone to 173. Dark, horror, urban fantasy type. Surprising to many, that isn't entirely true. You see, what makes an SCP isn't how scary it is or how creatively it kills people. The only real criteria for an SCP entry is that it is written in the style of a scientific paper or report, and that the object being described is both interesting and anomalous, or not readily explainable. Some more commonly known SCPs, such as 343 or 049, are intelligent beings with the ability to easily communicate as any human would. 049 kills any living organism it touches. 343 is entirely benevolent. Others, like 294 or 914, are entirely inanimate machines. 294 serves drinks. 914 takes objects or living matter in one end and transforms them into something else at the other. Although, some may even find the calm divinity of 343 or the oddities of 914 unsettling in some ways, even if not necessarily frightening. And yet, despite seemingly touching all ends of the spectrum, this is just scratching the surface. But how, you might ask, can so much variety appear, even after hundreds and hundreds of entries? The answer is quite simple. Almost every single article that you will find on the SCP website is written by an entirely different author, each with their own ideas, inspirations, and experiences. 
Like I briefly mentioned, feedback and collaboration is incredibly important to any decent creative project. You can only do so much alone. By putting together the heads of a bunch of different people, you can create something greater than any single one of them could have made on their own. Granted, to a certain scale, this can get messy if people aren't delegated to certain roles in the creative process. If 20 people want to try to write one book, nothing is going to get done, or only a handful of writers will be able to have their creative voices heard. But if, let's say, 5 people want to write one book, and 15 have the job of editing and critiquing said book, suddenly we'll start turning, and progress starts being made. I want to circle back to something I mentioned when talking about 173 and the removal of its original reference image, the Creative Commons license. Or rather, if I'm to be entirely specific, the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 3.0 license, or CCBYSA for short. Now, despite being a hell of a mouthful, I believe that this licensing model is the driving force behind what makes the SCP universe so unique and special. Under this incredibly generous license, you can copy, remix, or even sell content created under it with only two really main rules. 1. Attribute the works that you're using to the original source and to the specific author, if possible. 2. Add the CCBYSA to the derived work, meaning that people will be able to copy your work wholesale and even sell it, provided that they properly attribute you and release their work under the same license. Now, when I first read up about this license, I almost felt like at that point it would be easier to have no license at all. Upon further reflection, however, I realized something. That first bit, that requirement to give proper credit, that is what makes it special. By operating everything under the shared knowledge that what's yours is ours and what's ours is yours, a community is fostered. This isn't some Hollywood team of a bunch of people that have never met each other. This is a tight-knit band of authors and other creatives that all want to lift each other up in what they do. By making this video and sharing the beauty of the SCP project, I am promoting them, albeit on a small scale. And if, in the future, I make something that someone else thinks is worth sharing that is made under the CCBYSA, there is in turn the opportunity for them to lift me up, paying it forward, so to speak. Now, I get it. It isn't all sunshine and roses, right? There's a reason that this kind of licensing isn't widely adopted in the creative industry. Money! And admittedly, yes, if you are trying to develop a creative project as a sellable product, it will be very hard under the CCBYSA. However, if you are like me and you are a smaller creator, or you just want to make something for the sake of making it and not to put food on the table, then it can be rather freeing, I think, to try to collaborate with some incredibly creative people without having to worry about copyright law mumbo-jumbo. But I suppose that's just my take on the matter. It's a bit of a shorter video for now, but I may expand on this topic in the future, or perhaps even delve into specific SCPs or sets of SCPs. We'll just have to see, I suppose. Of course, everything that I mentioned will be linked in the description below, and if you liked this video, a like would be appreciated. Of course, subscribe if you'd like to see more of what I make in the future. And thank you. Now go out there and support the SCP project.